we see so many young people suddenly collapsing and dying these days and the incidence is all the time growing and counting one of the reasons is of course a young heart attack and a new test that could probably overcome this suddenness or the surprise in this element is a rapid coronary ct scanner i feel it's going to be a game changer the ct coronary angiography the rapid one angio means an artery or a blood vessel and a graphy means a photograph wherever there is a blood vessel or an artery in the body it can be pictured and the flow of that artery can be studied this investigation which looks at the flow of the artery the blockages narrowings enlargement and other aspects of anatomy is called angiography blood is transparent for x-rays in order to make the blood opaque for x-rays and to bring visibility one has to inject iodine containing contrast or dye in the artery x-rays are then beamed across the artery to take a picture it can be a still frame or it can be a running movie so that the blood starting from the origin of the artery can be traced to the end of the artery the arteries of the brain called carotid angiography arteries of the heart coronary angiography arteries of the kidneys the renal angiography and all the other arteries are peripheral angiography all can be studied traditionally it was done by a invasive catheter angiography that means a 2 mm diameter tube or the catheter was inserted from the skin of the groin to or the wrist under local anesthesia the tube was then inserted up the arterial tree against the blood flow to reach the desired place whether it was the brain or the coronaries this is all done under x-ray control from the catheter iodine containing contrast is injected into the specific artery and while the contrast is flowing through the blood x-ray is taken in a movie film this is known as a traditional catheter angiography this requires a specialized place called the catheter lab or the cath lab the atmosphere here is like an operation theater because the procedure needs to be done under sterile conditions and any procedure usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes to perform this involves admission to the hospital and a stay of at least 12 hours as the patient needs to be observed after the procedure for some time the newer brand of angiography nowadays is called ct angiography the same kind of information as in the catheter angiography can be obtained with the help of a non invasive technique the computerized tomography ct in ct angiography a catheter need not be inserted in the body the contrast is injected through a vein akin to saline infusion as the contrast is moving through the blood the ct scanner takes pictures of the artery whenever the arteries are still or not moving like the brain arteries or the kidney arteries the ct angiogram can take brilliant pictures pro and provide phenomenal information the heart however is a dynamic structure and the arteries are situated on the surface of the heart because of the constant movement of the heart the ct scanner till date were not fast enough to capture this movement the modern day ct angiographies are rapid or ultra rapid in their acquisition of the frames and they can come up with brilliant pictures despite the heart movement the old time ct angiography of heart had hurdles like a large amount of contrast medium that could affect the kidneys or breath holding ability of the individual for at least 20 seconds or rapid heart rate and all this would mean out of the 10 patients who deserved the ct angiography at least four would get rejected for the above reasons the new brand of fast scanners which slices at about more than 1000 slices per minute can overcome the heart movement dramatically absolutely clear pictures can be obtained of all the arteries of the heart without the patient getting admitted 
or without having to be rejected for any cause. The modern day scanner thus is a walk-in and walk-out procedure. The person needs to be fasting for about 2 hours and has to have a recent serum creatinine report because this reflects the kidney function. The scanner takes about 10 seconds to make the picture and the reports are available within 1 hour depending on the load of the lab. This ultra-fast CT angiography, especially of the coronaries, is going to be a game-changer. All these days, because of the complexity of the procedure, the radiation, the contrast, the kidneys being suspect, it was reserved only for a very few uh, high-risk individuals. Now, with these hurdles having overcome, this kind of a test can be a screening test for an age group of 40 to 50 in high-risk individuals at least. Potentially, in future, it could replace the traditional treadmill stress test. The cost, of course, is high at present, but that's something that will drop over a period of time. The CT scanner can become a part of an executive checkup for adults and can be repeated 3 to 5 years based on the risk. The modern day CT angiography has 100% negative predictive value. This means if the CT angiogram shows no blockages at all and no calcium at all, that's going to be the gold standard. However, if there are blockages, the percentage of the blockages may not be accurate with the CT scanner. Calcium score of the coronaries is discussed on the CT angiography. As age advances, just like cholesterol blockages in the arteries, calcium deposition can take place. A calcium score of less than 300 would mean there is a mild to moderate form of calcium. All young individuals, however, are expected to have zero calcium score. A high calcium score means that the CT angiography can become inaccurate and the person is then subjected to catheter angiography. A big load of calcium, as is common after the age of 70, the CT scanner is unable to peep inside the artery and show us the blockage. This modern-day CT scanner is a boon in itself, miraculous advance in the evaluation of the coronary arteries. Every individual in the world wants to know whether there is a block in his coronary or not. At the age of 40, 50, before a high altitude trek, before undertaking financial investment, before many major surgeries, this kind of a direct test rather than the indirect ones like treadmill stress test or nuclear medicine test would mean bringing in accuracy in the diagnosis and prediction of any problems. The ease with which the modern day CT scanner is working I can make out it's going to be a common test in the future. The rough edges like the radiation and the contrast probably would be made smoother as time goes by. In the era where very young heart attacks and sudden cardiac deaths in young are on the rise, the ultra-fast CT coronary angio is a highly recommended test. Please consult your doctor and see whether you are a candidate for that.